All right, so I got the car back home from uh, my little test drive. It's been running awesome. Uh, I've been testing it around. I've been driving it around town a little bit here and there, and there's one little issue that I don't like. Flip you around and I'll show you. One issue that I have with the car, and it, it's just a comfort issue. It's just a drivability while I'm on the road kind of issue. I didn't have a door panel for this door. This door was replaced on the car. This is a full power car, power mirrors, power windows, power locks, but this door is a manual window door. So, sorry, this door, but this door panel is a manual window door panel. So, what I've done is I've just, for the longest time been having my little door uh, window switches sit right here inside this original door pull and then I can't use my door pull there's nothing to grab onto to close the door so it's been bugging me I have the original door pull bucket for this door panel for the non power window model so I was thinking stuff that in the hole put the screw in and then I marked out, <clears throat> I marked out here where I think I want to go ahead and cut. And um, position this guy right in front of the door hole. And then I'll just use some screws to hold it into the panel. And then, uh, and then that looks pretty good. Looks better than what it looks like right now, especially with this in the hole in the way and not working. So. I think I'm gonna take my Dremel and just cut out a little square hole real quick. Pop my door panel off and pop this guy in there. All the other screws are out already. Should be able to slide this guy off. There it is. Door panel. There's the underside of my door. Okay, so I just want to make sure that on the back side of here, there's nothing that's going to interrupt my piece going. It looks like we're perfect. There's nothing in the way. There's this nice big gap area here for the switch to go. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this. And uh, when you see this next, it will be cut, hopefully. So stay tuned. All right, so I went ahead and cut the door panel. Let me show you what I did. I already put it back on, and I got the switch in. So I cut a small, I cut a hole as close here as possible, because I wanted to be able to, I mean, in the future, it is possible to, where's my piece at? This guy right here. So I don't have the power window door trim However, the power window door trim is pretty much this piece plus this piece in one piece. So I tried to mount this as far back as possible. That way, if I ever do find this one piece little trim panel that they make, um, it's possible that I might be able to put that on and it'll cover up my hole that I made. Um, it's worth a shot, but worst case scenario, I think that looks a whole lot better being that it's a manual window door. I think that's a whole lot better than it was before. Plus I actually have a door pull handle now. So the only thing I'm missing is this little uh, door handle trim and some speakers. And I mean, the interior's, the interior's done. It's all there. It's almost all there. Can't really get back in there, but starting to come together it's really starting to come together so that's my little mod for today i'm a lot happier with my window switches being a little more accessible plus when the door is closed i'll even hop in the car and show you when the door's closed i can't reach my door well let me show you when the door's closed i can't really reach my window buttons when they were here so let me see if i can try and let me show you. Flip around. Oh, that's not going to work. I can't do that. Okay, so I'm just going to hold it like this. So, with the door, window switches right here. Look, I can't even... That's as far back as my, my hand goes. 
So I would have to really like curl up and hit my window switches. So now, now they're accessible. Auto down, manual up, and I can reach them. Not bad. So super happy with how that turned out. It's a lot better than just the piece sitting in the hole. So good little tip and uh, made the car look a little bit better. So that's all for now. I will see you in the next one.